Hey, Devo, I wanted to, to ask you about uh, the, the play of Jalen Tate tonight, just how important that was. He scored in double figures in both halves, including 12 points and, and five assists in the second half and hit, hit some pretty big shots late. Uh, he's amazing. He he played well, and like you said, he was scoring the ball, and that's what we needed. We needed that, that spark, and he did it. And as you've seen down the stretch, he contributed for us. And the last play um, of our possession, he drove, and they came in, and he kicked it out to me, and I stayed composed, and I knocked the shot down. Thank you. Next up, we have Tom Murphy with the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Tom? Thank you. Hey, Devo, uh, the last play, uh, y'all might have wanted to keep it away from Max, but just kind of detail what happened on that play and, uh, you know, what you saw. Well, well, once they called the second time out, we knew that he was going to banana cut. So we just tried to make sure he catched the ball in front of us and not behind us. And as you seen, he did that, but he we tried to not to foul him as well. And so we did that and we we, we hope that he didn't make the shot. And as you seen, it rammed out and that's what and that's what we, we needed. And we looked up and got that and we um, ended, ended the game like that. Next up, we have a question from Curtis Wilkerson with Hog Sports. Curtis? Hey, Devo, I was wondering if you could talk about some of the adjustments you guys made in the second half on, on both ends of the floor defensively. Well, we, we as a team, we really didn't need a lot of adjustments. We just needed to play harder and, and, and figure out ways to um, get to the basket because the first game we had like 57 pain, pain points and, and that's what we needed. And we needed pain points. And we, as you've seen, we got to the rim in the second half and, and we, we out toughed them. And that's what it came down to. And we figured the, we figured the game out. And Jalen Tate led us, led us that way. And then there comes Moses and Justin and Desi and the rest of the team contributed as well. So that's, all, that's what we needed for sure. Next up, we have Andre Hutchinson from Hogbeat. Andre, or Andrew, sorry. Devo, along those same lines, uh, y'all got down 12 and, and Coach Musk called the timeout. I was wondering what the message was during that timeout that kind of sparked y'all's run to get back into it. We just knew that we needed to play harder, and and that's all it was. We wasn't playing hard. We was playing. We was playing slow. We was letting them let them slow us down, and this was not what we needed. We we're a fast team. We needed to score in the paint, like I said, and and as you seen, we did that. And coach must know that we're we're always going to compete. And as you seen, we we. The last couple of games we played down, and we need to stop doing that. But as you've seen, we finished the job. We got the job done. We finished the game, and and that's all it comes down to. As long as we get the win, we're fine with it. Next up, we have Brian Hamilton with the Athletic. Brian, please ask your question. Yeah, hey, Devo, Brian Hamilton from the Athletic here. Can you kind of walk us through your progress as a freshman, where maybe it wasn't as Easy, kind of as easy for you early in the year, and obviously now that you're a starter, producing more. What what have been the major important steps along the way for your development? Just 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 staying in the gym, just being able to compete and practice, and just become a better player and a better team player. And and that's what I want. That's what I wanted from the from the jump. Coming to Fayetteville is um, a choice that I didn't know I was going to make, and I made the right choice for sure. And I love this team. I love this community, and I love the coaching staff. And I feel that. We we we've come a long way for sure, and me as a freshman, I I've come a long way as well. And from not starting, from not playing to being able to um just have freedom like Coach Moses gives me, and it's fun playing with this team, and I love it. Next up, we have a question from Bob Holt from the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Bob, if you could please unmute and ask your question. Uh, Devo, could you just kind of describe that sequence where Jalen had the ball and, and, and then got it to you for the game-winning shot? And I guess how exciting is it? You seem pretty calm. How exciting is it to, to hit a shot like that to send your team to the lead eight? Mm, I mean, it's a dream come true. I've never I've never thought about something like this. I mean, coming into this season, I was just trying to come in and just make sure I compete and make sure that we win games. And being able to just compete for a national championship is crazy. And like you said, that the last second shot, um, it feels good, but I mean, just can't worry about this game. We got to put it behind me, and we got to prepare. We got 48 hours to prepare for this next this next game. Um, play Baylor, and hopefully, hope we come out with the win. We're um, we're going to compete for sure, and we're going to make sure that we get the job done.
Our next question comes from John Title of HoopsHD.com. John, if you could please unmute and ask your question. John Title from HoopsHD.com. I believe this time last year you were sharing a state championship because the season or the final game was canceled due to COVID. Uh, can you look back at how you felt this time last year and how it compares to now? Uh, I was thinking about that last night, actually. Um, it's, it's, it's wild. I mean, we I wasn't able to compete for a state a state title, like you said, and, and it frustrated me a little bit. But I knew that coming into this year, um, it was a different mindset. It's not just a state title. It's a national title. It's a national title now. And so just being able to compete for that, um, coming into Elite Eight and just knowing the, the stage is bigger for sure. And, and, I'm, and I'm ready. And I know the team ready. And as a whole, we're all going to come in and we're going to play hard and we're going to try to try to win this thing for sure. And I know I know they're ready. And I'm glad that they trusted me and I trust in them guys. And we're going to come in and we're ready to play for sure. Next up, we have Jeff Borzello. Jeff, if you could please identify your affiliation for Devontae. Thank you. Hey, Devo. Jeff Borzello from ESPN. Um, I, I just wanted to, you know, you started out the game kind of denying Ace Smith the entire time. In the second half, you guys changed to sort of doubling him everywhere he went without the ball. You know, what was the plan to guard him going into the game, and how did that change as the game went on? You know, what, what was what kind of Coach Must saying the entire time? We wanted to play solid, just play solid. Um, try to shade them one way for sure, and and, and try to, and like you said, we sh we we sh we tried to get the ball out of his hand in the second half, and and it helped us a little bit, you know. And and I feel like that's what led us to getting the lead and tying the game up with the with the um the game. And I feel that we did a pretty good job with the with the soft traps and things like that to help us out down the stretch. I think I think that Ace is a, a great player, and they was calling a lot of fouls for him. And so we was a lot, we was in foul trouble, so we just tried to play soft. But also, if we needed to switch, we, we, we'll switch for sure. Next question comes from Kevin Brockway with CNHI Sports Indiana. Kevin, please unmute and ask your question. Yeah, uh, double double tonight for Justin Smith. Uh, you talked about playing harder. How important was his activity on the board, particularly down the stretch? Phenomenal. Um, he's 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 a great offensive. Uh, um, offensive rebounder for sure, and and that's one one thing I love about him. He's gonna work hard on the boards, and and if he got four fouls, he get the he get that fifth foul for the team just to get that re try to get that rebound, and that's what I love about him. And he's always gonna compete. He he played forty minutes uh, a night, and and that's tough to do. And, you know, coming in um, as a player, not knowing not knowing how to how the year's gonna go for him. Um, he's he's came in. He's contributed to the team. He's a leader, and this and that's what we love about him. He's going to lead us, and he's going he's going to play his hardest. Just two more questions for you. The next one coming from Patrick Dallahan. Patrick, if you could please unmute and identify who you are with, that would be great. Thank you. Uh, hey, Devo. Obviously, congratulations on an awesome win. It's a really big win for you guys uh, as a team, and for you in particular. Uh, you're obviously a really young kid, so you haven't had to face as much pressure as, as you had tonight. So what was it like when you had the ball in your hands to take that final shot? I mean, I think, I think I put in the work. I put in the work and, and I know that the work is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna to come and it's going to come. And, and that's what it came down to, just putting in the work. And as you've seen, I knocked the shot down. And, and like you said, pressure pressure I don't think I don't, I don't think it was pressure on me for sure I mean I think I think I'm made for them, them type of them type of plays and, and as you see and I knocked the shot down for our last question we are going to circle back with Bob Holt from the Arkansas Democrats Gazette Bob yeah Devo it's the first time Arkansas has gone to the Elite Eight since 95 the defending national championship team and almost won another one just what does it feel like to, to get this far as a freshman, mm, I don't even. I can't explain this. It's, it's wild. I mean, just knowing that coming from a high school where a lot of people don't get this opportunity to to now, and and it's crazy. I mean, I came to the game with my sunglasses on, things like that, and and, and just knowing that I'm co I'm coming ready to play, and and I know my team is gonna compete with me. And and it's amazing just being able to be in this be in this position right now. And as a as an individual, and as a as an Arkansas player, 
I feel wonderful. I know the fans are feeling good, and I know everyone else out there in Fayetteville, and they represent, and I know that we're ready to play. And this next, this upcoming game, we're not, we're not gonna dig, a, we're not gonna dig a hole. We're gonna, we're gonna come out, we're gonna compete from the jump, and we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna grind it out. Digging hole seems to be working for you guys pretty good. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, thanks.